Saturday morning. Nothing else like it. Waking up either very excited for what the day has to offer or with a serious hangover from the night before. Thankfully, however, today was a waking up very excited for what the day has to offer type of day. Not that I would ever wake up hungover, of course. We are set up here at Winston for CSX Q213 with a neat assortment of power, that being CSX ES44AH number 943 in the lead, and CSX SD70MAC, also known as SD70 Mac, number 4758 with some really faded paint in trail. Both of these units sport CSX's Y3 paint scheme, nicknamed Dark Future. The Y stands for yellow, the N stands for nose, and the 3 means that this is the third paint scheme that coincides with yellow on the nose of the locomotive, along with schemes such as YN1 and YN2. Of course, no active unit, whereas YN1 and YN2 is fading away. But these are still example of yellow nose paint schemes nonetheless. Oh boy, it's looking now. What this train is doing is he is separating his loads for Palm Center from his loads for Drew Park in Tampa. Once these are separated, the Palm Center loads being the set of racks on the left, 213's power switches onto track one to hook onto his Drew Park loads. And if you are wondering what all the background chatter is, Dakota, Stetson, Dalton, and I all happen to be set up pretty much right next to each other. And what do a group of teenagers do best? Chit chat. A lot. Once he hooks onto his Drew Park loads, he must reorient himself via the Winston Y so that he can face the direction where the destination point is, that being Drew Park of course. But before he could back onto North Y Winston, the dispatcher let CSX 0738, a local from Winston to as of November 2nd Auburndale and Davenport and back to Winston, leave the yard of course via North Y Winston first. Once 0738 is completely cleared out, Q213 is now ready to reorient himself. At that point, we knew 213 wasn't going to waste any time to get to its destination. So we stopped in at Plant City, and here he came.
but stopping in a plant city wasn't just a coincidence. A couple days prior to this outing, we had heard of a K811 with two foreign units. BNSF ES44C4 number 7085 in the front pulling this train, and BNSF ET44C4 number 3904 on the rear running as a DPU pushing this train. Not only was a foreign power DPU running, but the fact that a phosphate train was going through Plant City is not a very common phenomenon in itself. It was taking the Plant City connection off of the Yeoman subdivision onto the Lakeland subdivision due to track work at South Lakeland, which restricted big trains like these from taking Lakeland Junction off of the Vita subdivision onto the Lakeland subdivision, which is what these phosphate trains typically do. This train was a pretty big deal, as my good friends Dakota, Stetson, Dalton, Larry, and an assortment of people on the Plant City Virtual Rail Fan Cam and I were all set up for this train. And at about 10.15 a.m., here he came. attempted to chase this train to Winston, which we successfully did, sort of. At that point, we really had no plan of what train we'd see next, so Larry and I decided to head back over to Plant City and get some of the usuals through there, like this one. This is CSX 0709. However, there was something unusual about this train. He had 25 rock hoppers on the rear of his train bound for Winston Yard. Once he would be done delivering these rock hoppers, he'd bring more to Tampa. This is unusual because he'd usually just switch industries in the Plant City area. Odd.
trying to make its way past was Amtrak PO-91 coming out of its station stop in Tampa. We missed it coming into Tampa because by the time we got to Plant City, he was blasting through Palmer Street. It was a good five hours before I saw the next train pass. I missed 0709's return due to lunch. And the train that was next up happened to be Q604, a daily stretch of assorted freight and phosphate from Winston to Waycross. Today he didn't have much phosphate and was actually pretty short. I didn't get his length though. train to pass was another Amtrak, Amtrak PO-92. Like PO-91, he wasted no time clearing Plant City. <laughs> 